And the Platinum Queen got a good start, the favourite from the light blue jacket and noseband, and Lahina Bay showing speed down the centre in the pink jacket. So the Platinum Queen towards the right, chased by Cloudy Breeze and Union Court, then Cruz in the claret jacket, the grey star of Lady M. Further back is Beautiful Eyes from All the Time, and then Full Prime and Angelic Divas out the back, and with plenty to do at this as they, at this stage as they head on towards the final three furlongs and now approaching the two and the Platinum Queen out in front showing plenty of dash here chased by Union Court and then Star of Lady M down the centre far side Lahina Bay he gets to work on the leader the Platinum Queen Ashin Orr Star of Lady M is launching a challenge then Union Court chasing hard but they're racing inside the final furlong and the Platinum Queen is pulling right away in very impressive style now she's really quick the Platinum Queen a dancer Queen wins. Clear five lengths to Union Court. Tight for third star of Lady M and running on well down the near side. Beautiful eyes. It's another rapid five furlongs here. This time a time of 56.93 posted by the Platinum Queen for Midland Park Racing, Richard Fahey and Asheen Orr. A glorious Goodwood winner cementing their burgeoning partnership. And she drew right away. Yes, she might have been the best on paper, but by that far, she's beaten Union Court, who ran well in the super sprint, pointless. The star of Lady M and Beautiful Eyes third and fourth give a bit of ballast to the form. All the times fifth and Cruz sixth. It makes sense. Uh, she'd have gone close in a in a pattern race, I think, this this filling. It's entirely possible, yeah. I mean, she was £18 clear of the runner-up coming into the race, so entitled to do it uh, in that sort of style in, in some respects, and I think others maybe have underperformed. But she was harried early by Lahina Bay, but Ashino was unflustered by it. He wasn't bothered, was he? He just sat on her, let her do the talking, and let her set the pace that she wanted to set, really. And she's really opened up late on. It was impressive, the final 100 yards or so. Uh, Union Court, really good running second. Star of Lady M, who was rated a little bit higher, and she's going up into the 90s now, I think, herself. So she was back in third. And, yeah, I think you're right to point out that we are almost certainly dealing with a filly of listed and group race potential, aren't we, going forwards? And I'm sure she is destined for that sort of company. And the one blot on her record came when she you know, misbehaved and getting her down to post nice and early, keeping her calm, keeping a lid on her. And uh, Sheena was able to harness that abundant energy extremely effectively today. Yes, he was. You can see Lahina Bear goes forward. This is the way that she runs. She's got a lot, a lot of enthusiasm and early boot. Um, but, uh, yeah, she, she just can't match the, the class of, of the Platinum Queen at all, can she, to be honest with you? She's trying to go with her, but her little legs won't carry her as, as quickly as the longer more powerful stride of, of, of the Platinum Queen and that's a really good shot of how she's opened things up mid-race there the winner another win for a big syndicate we had success for Oscula earlier for Nick Bradley uh, Midland Park getting in on the act here with the Platinum Queen and you know, I, I just like the way she stretched again mm. late Martin she's very enthusiastic isn't she? And she you can see she's got a she's got a very honest way of galloping um, and when she's out in the clear, you, you know, she just keeps on rolling whether she's got, got, got uh, anything to compete with or not. She's, she's, she's very competitive and willing, I think, in her own right. So, no, good performance from her. Um, running right up to her mark. Solid runs from the second and third. And a quick time, I think, to um, yeah. give it an extra little bit of well, we, ballast. I think we, I think we broke the two-year-old track record in the Mulcombe. And I think that's broken it again. Oh. It's quicker than the Malcolm. Now the official consolidated time has come in, rather than there the time go. I immediately read as they passed the post. We're getting a time that is quicker than the Malcolm states. 56.50. Yeah, that's rapid, so that again. very, very fast. The, the sprint track is clearly clearly riding very quickly especially up that stand right it, 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 it was yesterday as well yeah. wasn't it and I, I think look stall eight is he, he, she was entitled to win of course she was but uh, stall eight has beaten stall nine it's certainly just becoming a bit of a theme that it's it's a no disadvantage to race right right across where's Roswell drawn in the king george <laughs> stakes on friday three oh <laughs> but we'll way see. better anyway yeah. doesn't <laughs> we'll see uh, but yeah a um, couple of disappointments in behind. I think Beautiful Eyes, again, has not reproduced her early season form, which is frustrating. All the time has run better than Ascot, but... Just always on the back yeah. foot. It's always being scrubbed along. It yeah, looks, but, looks like he wants a 
she wants more of a test. Yeah, it, it possibly does. She possibly does. I'm mean, quite impressed by Uni and Court in second. She could be quite a nice filly, actually, because she's she's travelled really well into it, hasn't she? And, and obviously she's up against one that she's not in anything like the same league as, but uh, she's run really well, splitting higher-rated rivals. A blistering performance from the Platinum Queen, who went into this race 